welcome to the channel i'm nika one half of two geek girls and this is the second video in our youtuber series i am coming to you with my thoughts and review of marvel's inhumans there will be spoilers for this episode if you've not had a chance to take a look at it please save this video until you get a chance to watch the premiere episode with that being said let's get started so Marvel's Inhumans is a property that has a wealth of information that the writers and directors can pull from, um, from the comic books. They've been around for a long time. Um, I actually have some stills further on in this video of some of the pages from the comic books just to show um, how colorful this um royal family is with that being said my overall thoughts of this series is that it's not the worst tv premiere that i've ever seen um, it's not the worst that i've seen from marvel however there is room for improvement there is a lot of improvement that can be made when it comes to this tv show depending on if it's picked up for another se season or not the main problem that, well, actually, you know what? Let me talk about the pros first. The pros would be the acting. Um, the guy who plays Backbolt, I believe his name is Incent Mao, does a wonderful job of um, depicting his feelings just by his facial expressions, being that he is um, supposed to be basically mute because he can't speak due to the fact that spoiler alert he's so powerful that anytime he opens up his mouth the wave of energy comes out and it can demolish um whole towns within a certain radius medusa plays a very good role um as being his um wife and his basically his voice um you have ramsey bolton from game of thrones playing the villain um my shocked face not shocked and there are several other actors that i'm not aware of but even those actors um you know they show up and they do their job however the writing um is very lackluster um from the very first scene where triton shows up who is a member of the royal family and he actually has an inhuman with him and he basically says you know you're an inhuman i'm an inhuman wouldn't you like to go to a place with blah 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 blah, blah. um from that scene i looked at my sister as we were watching this together and we just basically kind of went like oh here we go um there are so many plot points that are just left hanging open there are so many things that um were chose for this tv show that did not really give you know there was no reason behind some of the things that were being done um in, basically even the when we get to the moon, uh, Adeline, where they are, um, and there's the, the class dis distinction that's there, and Maximus is trying to cause some distinction in the ranks, so to speak, so that he can formulate his plan, you really, s they don't tell you why he's doing any of this. And, you know, granted, with a lot of TV shows over time, you get the motivation of both the protagonist and the antagonist. But in this situation, when you see how it actually comes about, you don't really understand why those scenes were there. There is a scene where they discuss terror genesis or them actually coming into their powers. That scene is pretty much done like, ooh, somebody who flies, that's great. And why is that great none of that is really um delved into at all um and then basically once the bad thing happened which will take us into the final point um which is the coup against black bolt once again there are things that happen even a, a fight between medusa and someone and the way the fight ensues you never really figure out why medusa made the decision that she made um, I will say, though, a positive is the um, chemistry between Black Bolt and Medusa. You actually see that. Um, 
And for the most part, again, like I said, the talent is not the issue. It's overall the writing and just the way it's done. And I hate to say it this way, but we've seen better portrayals of the Inhumans and animation. Whether you take a look at Hulk and Agents of Smash and the episode where the humans were there, or if you take a look at the episode in Ultimate Spider-Man, I think it's called Inhumanity, where the Inhumans show up. In both cases, the Marvel animation actually did a better job of portraying the Inhumans than this live action um, version, which is sad because there are some people who actually went to see this in IMAX. I myself did not. I wanted to wait and see it on TV because based on so many of the changes that has happened from it being a movie to it being a TV show to the first couple episodes being in IMAX and then we'll bring out the rest of the episodes, I decided to err on the side of caution and just wait until it actually came out on um, TV and watch it there. Um, so my overall rating for the TV show is a C minus and the reason why I'm giving it the C minus is because it does have potential to improve um, I am a fan of Marvel's Age of Shield and I know a lot of people after season one did not stick with it I did and it has progressively gotten better now that we're in season four so there is potential for it to improve um, Again, they have great source material, so if they can delve into that, I do think that it will be a success for Marvel. So hopefully the next couple of episodes we'll see something that will be a positive, uh, complete positive for the show. But right now, this is a C minus. It is not a must see. It is just something that you can't see. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for your attention. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in our next video.